everybody, welcome to the Hacienda Rivet here. Today we're going to make a really super simple recipe for flatbreads. Uh, yeah, very simple ingredients. Um, the other day I was watching um, a video from Patty Joe cooking, and Patrick was making some sort of uh, chicken curry melange thing in a casserole that actually looked really, really good. And uh, he made some flatbreads to go with it, and I thought, man, those look delicious. I have got to make them. So here we are. We've got two cups of all-purpose uh, flour, one teaspoon each salt and uh, sugar, and we're going to use some olive oil. And that's it. So join me, and we'll get started. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to sprinkle in the salt and sugar in the flour and we're going to whisk it up real well. To that, we're going to add two cups of warm water and we're going to do it in two iterations. So let's get this started here. Okay, so I must have had a little bit more than two cups of flour because I had to add about a quarter cup of water. But what we want here is a finished uh, pancake batter. Okay, and you stir that for a couple minutes so there's no flour lumps in there. And to that, we're going to add one tablespoon of olive oil. Now you can use any kind of oil you want. I like olive oil. Right, we got a pan uh, over medium heat that I've wiped down with some olive oil. And now we are going to put the batter in there, very much like a pancake, and circle it around like that. I'm using a, oh, I have no idea what size this measuring cup thing is. And uh, apparently you want to move it around like that and uh, get it to open up. And you can see the consistency here is just what you want. You see how the edges are kind of firmed up. At this point, we're going to flip it over like that you gotta have the courage of your convictions and apparently I didn't so there we go we're gonna fix it like that alright so let's keep cooking after a couple minutes flip it over and you can see it start to, to brown actually at medium heat exactly it's taking quite a bit longer to cook than I imagined far longer than a pancake but that's fine let's keep cooking right this is the first one Okay, let's uh, take it off. You see how it's got nice browning on both sides? Um, just like the first pancake, doesn't look like the best, but let's keep going. I'm getting better results now that I turned up the heat to six. Oh, this is about the fifth or sixth one. And um, I think this is more what they're supposed to be looking like. Okay, so here we are. We got them all done. All there, nicely warmed. Let's zoom in for a little bit and uh, get some nice pics here. All right, let's give them a taste. The last ones looked a little nicer. They came out better. Uh, again, I turned it up to medium high heat. Uh, very stretchy looking. Let's tear one. Okay, so let's taste it. Mm. Not bad. Perfect amount of salt and sugar. Uh, nice consistency. They're not as stretchy as they should be, but it is flat red. Yeah, I'd make it again. Not bad. Let's show you how we're going to serve it. And here we have it. A nice bowl of steaming lentils with lamb. Perfect uh, for this bread to be torn off and scooped up. No need for a spoon. And uh, hey, thanks for the idea, Patrick. This was great. Thanks for watching, people. Y'all take care.